Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to talk about applying for graduate route if you have uh, failed or you're going to reset your assessment, whatever that is, within a reasonable period. Usually within 42 days before the expiry of your visa, uh, of your student visa. If your decision is going to come, if you are going to pass that course, so now you are a fail. If you are going to pass within about 42 days from the date your student visa expires uh, then uh, there is a way around where something can be done preferably do this only with legal representatives lawyers it's a risky one there are specific timings specific explanations references to the immigration rules etc so i will take an example here this is also a specific example someone had shared with us so i have the dates as an example and so the individual is has failed his assessments uh, so he's going to reset on 11th of january uh, and on 30th of jan the student visa is going to expire obviously you cannot apply for the graduate route visa on 30th of jan because you have failed your course of study on that date the results of the reset which will be on 11 the reset will be on 6th of march 2024 approximately the result will be out so i'm going to work around with these dates and give some working order what is possible what is not there there will be a solution towards the end the percentage chances of success and so watch this video throughout till the end i'll refer to the guidance case working guidance and the immigration rules as well and which overrides what is possible what is not throughout the end of the video i'll keep on giving the tips and tricks throughout the video so do watch till the end so the goal is you have failed uh, your assessment and your student visa is recently is going to end shortly and you are going to reset the exams however the decision the past result will come after the end of your student visa so this is a common situation individuals will be who have failed any of their uh submissions etc so these are the dates 11 jan is the reset decision will come on 6th of march however a student visa is going to expire on 30th jan some application has to be going on that date or on the next day the, you will become an overstayer in the uk so there is a possibility that you file the application so i'll bring in the immigration rules also and then give the examples over here so there are two dates relevant over here one is the date of application 30th jan when you submit the graduate route application the application in this situation cannot be done through the app so that's the caveat you cannot do it through the app not through the app it has to go in the normal application format uh, so if it goes through the app it will straight go to the case working you don't want it processed so early that's the goal so if you file it the normal way lawyers will know this you may not be able to do it that's the reason i said do it through legal representatives and tell them this is one of the possibilities we have done for our clients we are doing it for other clients also and it has to be done with the normal application the standard application form online that comes through uh, the lawyers will be able to direct it accordingly not everyone will be able to do that so once you fill up the application you submit it and make the payment of the graduate route visa on this day 30th of jan last date of your student visa worst case scenario or before that so let's say that day you can do it within 42 days you have to enroll your biometrics so i have calculated here 42 days comes 10th of march so submit on 30th of march enroll your biometrics latest by 10th of march 2024 if you don't enroll on 10th of march then after that date your application may be declared invalid home office may give you an opportunity may not they may declare it invalid straight away i have had situations i know people clients they have tried some things and maybe this visa or some others if they didn't enroll within 42 days their applications have been declared invalid i have heard from whatever inquiries we get so where individuals have tried to do it themselves so this timing is very very important it has to be on or before the 42 days uh, mark on this day it will flow forward into the case working queue so till this time the application just sits in the queue it doesn't go forward it will just sit in the queue once the biometrics are enrolled the biometrics will match up with the so they both will go together application biometrics together moving forward going into the case working queue the case worker has two things to look at one is the immigration rules which is the bible so what does the immigration rules say 
the student sponsor must have notified the home office by the date of application so by a so the rules are very strict they say that student sponsor must have notified that you have passed the course uh, that the applicant has successfully completed the course of study so immigration rules are strict date of application is what it states it doesn't give any other flexibility however there is a guidance so if you can google search it and look for graduate route case working guidance or guidance also it comes up and uh, in the guidance no doubt the first line says the student sponsor must have notified the home office by the date of application same thing successfully completed course however further down it says if a notification has not been received so this is this these instructions are for the case worker if a notification has not been received from the student sponsor that's from your university that you have successfully passed but the cash shows that the applicant had been studying a qualified qualifying qualification so maybe you may have to upload the that there's a reason i said engage a lawyer also so the cash will also have to be uploaded into the application there are ways around doing that and so that the case worker is aware at least he has the cash in front of it uh, seeing that yes it's a qualifying qualification the case worker must not refuse the application so that's very very important the term used is must not so they cannot so it's not may not it's not shall not it's not ought not it is must not so that's very legal language i can or even straight english i can say they cannot refuse the application just because the sponsor has not notified them they have to do this next step so that is this is the next step i will read that if a notification has not been received from the student sponsor but the cash shows that the applicant has been studying a qualifying qualification they look at the cash and they say okay yes it's a qualifying qualification however they search on the system they don't find a notification the case worker must not refuse the application that is the first thing cannot refuse if it would otherwise be granted so obviously as per the cas it looks like it would have been it would be granted on other things everything else if he has paid the fees paid the ihs all the validity requirements obviously it would be granted instead the case worker must contact the sponsor they should write they have internal mechanism through which they can send emails or they have a uh, communication channel with the university with the sponsor asking for confirmation that the student has successfully completed the course of study so they should ask the university has this mr x completed the course of study and obviously because they are asking after the date of the reset result and even beyond that the university will definitely notify them as yes the the individual has completed the course of study successfully so that's how you can resolve this matter uh, they cannot go by the immigration rules they have to follow the guidance the guidance is specifically for case workers that's what it says graduate rule guidance uh, the reason for making this guidance also for the case workers obviously they cannot go and interpret the immigration rules again and again like lawyers they like we do so immigration rules doesn't matter in this case if this is the scenario and these are timelines that from the date of application within 42 days or so you are able to enroll the biometrics and within that period you are also being able you will also pass the course pass the parts of the course whichever have not been completed then i think this is a possibility that yeah if you do it through in my opinion if you are doing this i am pretty sure it's about 90% or higher chances of success so that that's what i would say uh, i would have a caveat that don't try it yourself uh, do it to legal representatives either you can come to us go to other representatives but do it to the lawyers there are several things that become tricky and yeah you do get stuck at some points so if you want our advice we charge for our consultation we charge for the applications you can get in touch with us or you can go to other legal representatives or even if you want to do it yourself and risk it yes it may be possible but this is i just wanted to give an overview of what is possible and what is not um, even if your result is beyond the 42 period individuals may think of risking it because not necessarily the case worker will decide on the same day as you enroll your biometrics you go in the queue and it may take some time but that is a risk that you are taking so yeah so it depends on how much risk appetite you have uh and so this is the whole picture yes it is possible provided the results will be out results of the reset will be out within a reasonable time preferably in 42 days uh etc and uh, yes if you do like this video do give a thumbs up and uh, any other things to consider yes it is possible
we are doing for some of our clients and as for the immigration rules you are not breaking anything you're following the rules based technically yeah it cannot be done through the app important pointers things should be timed properly last date of visa latest the application should be filed within 42 days the biometric should be enrolled especially the reset should be passed that is very very important unless you are sure that you are going to pass the reset yeah this will be yeah it may not work out so that is some something that is possible uh, if you do like this video do like do give a thumbs up subscribe to our channel do write in the comments whatever you decide whether you come to us you do it yourself or you decide not to do it whatever you do do write in the comments it helps even others who are watching this video reading those comments and make it helps them to make decisions on their own situations as well it helps us also to learn from you uh, what has helped what has not helped it helps to know whether these videos are helping you or they are really not helping you and i'm just wasting my time over here so whatever that is yeah please do write in the comments and thank you very much for watching